Hi guys, Mark Azelstein with Uncorked Ventures. So a yeah, happy beginning of the week to everybody. Um, so I got asked a few days ago by a customer about the bulk wine market and uh, why I feel kind of that there's, for the most part, the bulk wine market is in some place that a wine club should really be venturing. Uh, so the bulk wine market really breaks down into a few different segments. Um, so first, um, you know, if you're gonna bulk out some wine, um, often a winemaker will talk to somebody like me and ask if, you know, hey, I made a little bit extra, or hey, my day job is taking a little bit extra time, can you take a barrel or two? Um, I think that's a perfectly reasonable way for uh, a wine club to operate and to uh, add some bulk wine to the portfolio under a different label. Um, there's also um, kind of declassified wine um, and you run into this more often than the first version. Um, and that's where a winery isn't very happy with what they've produced and they don't want to put it under their own label. So they're willing to give it to somebody else and they'll bottle it and send it off under a different label. So that the winery who actually made the wine is never kind of at risk for losing their brand name. Um, in my opinion, a monthly wine club that does that is not doing you much of a service at all. Um, so um, third way that wine gets sold uh, winery makes a lot of wine, um, winery bottles it, so this would be a shiner, as you can see, uh, the cork is completely empty, well, the cork doesn't have a label on it that you can tell, um, there's no label on the bottle, uh, so this is a Sonoma Chardonnay um, that is a uh, shiner, um, and then they'll sell the shiners, and then somebody can put a little slap a label on um, and do it. I think that's also a fairly reasonable way uh, for a wine club to get some wine out. Um, in reality, I think, you know, part of um, providing a service, at least in my opinion, is that you teach people a little bit about wine, and the easiest way to do that is to talk about real winemakers and real vineyards and real wine labels and not do this kind of third-party stuff where there's no real paper trail and there's no real way to know what's actually in the bottle. Um, and I know that probably makes me different and maybe a little bit even unpopular um, in this crowd, um, but it is what it is. Um, so in any case, uh, so that's a quick rundown of the bulk wine market. This is a good example of what a shiner actually looks like. Um, and I uh, hope everyone's having a good week so far. Talk to you soon.